Well, hello, welcome back to another RV walkthrough. As always, my name's Taylor Quayle. We are here at Padada RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. And today we're gonna look at a 2015 Jayco Red Hawk. This is a 23XM model, just under 25 foot overall. Double slide out, both slides in the rear. See that E450 chassis with the V10 Triton. We're gonna give it a full look, interior and exterior. Check out all the compartments. Check out the full interior and all the storage and see what this thing has to offer. So let's start up right up front, right at this tire. Try to get you out of the sun here. 225, 75 R16s. If you can see that, 49.19 on the DOT. So only a few years old. Electric awning right here. Spans almost the whole length of the coach minus that closet slide. First compartment. Propane, 12.2 gallons. Low point drains in that one and a couple connections. Another storage and then look at this storage here in the rear. Triple access under the slide out right here. See that backup camera is mounted on that slide out. Even though it is a rear slide, it still has a topper. Same with that side slide. So, tongue weight 5,000, seven pounds. So you're looking at a 500 tongue, 5,000 pound hitch. As you can see, there is no ladder. So to get up on the roof, I will have to go up on the coach right next to us. No big deal. Other side of that storage. Dump stations down below. Fuel fill, driver's side rear. Those frameless windows. Oh, I forgot to open this dang storage compartment. Son of a gun. Outdoor shower, 30 amp power service. Battery, six gallon Atwood. Three-way fridge, furnace. Obviously, gen set. Oh, and get you in there. This coach isn't full body paint. It is a decal coach. It's got that beige base coat on it. Doesn't look too bad. Some of the decals have a little, you know, blemishes and perfections. And it looks like your kind of front Jayco symbol. I don't know if that's the design or if it's slowly fading. It looks like it's slowly fading. All right, let me show you the roof really quick before we jump inside. All right, here's the roof from the other RV. Max force vent covers, AC, local TV antenna. Looks like that antenna's a little messed up. May have to fix that. All right, let's jump inside. Two electric steps that come out. One step inside. Battery disconnect, awning control, fire extinguisher, light controls. And this is what you see right when we walk in. So what's so unique about this coach is there is no slides in the galley area. It's a double slide out, but both the slides are in the bedroom. So we'll get there in a second and check all that out. But first, right when you walk into the right of the entry door, got this little glass door. So you got a generator, 135.3 hours on that, inverter control and level testers. All right. So let's go start up front in the cab area. Start in the overhead cab. You got a 32 inch Jensen TV that does have a button right here to angle that bad boy in or out. Very cool. Area up here to put, I don't know, a gaming console, DVD player, something along those lines. If I remember correctly, she has about 65,000 miles. Uh, we're gonna double check here. Six D five eight forty two. So not too bad. Backup camera is on that main screen. This cab, this E series cab, doesn't look any different from all your other class C's out there. Seats actually look to be in good condition. They are cloth seats, eight years old now, but actually not too bad at all. No rips, no tears. No serious, inf serious issues that I see. Overhead storage, as always. Your shades in this coach, not day and night. You got these kind of standard, just blackout shades. We're selling this guy for 55 grand. You can see there's my printout right there. And then there's your floor plan. And then 
of course, some of those features and specs. All right. Do have a couple seat belts in the dinette, which is always nice too. It's a single AC located right there. It does have those quick releases. If you're really hot day, you want to cool down quick. Kitchen is on the driver's side. You got a little bit of pantry storage to the left. And then all your appliances. This is just left of that TV. Nice dual bay sink right here below. Double sponge. Always gotta have two sponges in an RV, I guess. And then no oven. So you got a big old drawer. Three burner stove top. Con smaller, but a convection microwave. More of that there, tall people storage. And then your two door, more cold, fridge and freezer. These are kind of cool too. They do have like little locks on them right there. If, you, if you're an aggressive driver and stuff's opening on you, those will benefit you. All right, now making our way into the bedroom, bathroom area, we do have a thermostat on the wall, coat hanger area. That's literally it. CO2 detector down at the bottom, furnace vent. You've got a little bit of storage right here, four drawers. And then, you know, I, I would call it a linen closet. Really a best bet for that with all those drawers. And then, four of those drawers. Accordion style door, to give you a little bit of separation right here to the main bedroom. Next, the vanity is outside the bathroom. It gets a little tight in this hallway, but I'm just trying to show you as much as I can. And there's your sink, no medicine cabinet. That is your slide, that's a closet slide, there to there. There's no light in here. In both doors and then your other slide Ooh, where's my finger right there to right there it's one of those rear slide outs where you do have to flip the bed over itself and really all that happens you do that the slide comes in it cozies up against the wall right behind us side table for the passenger side a couple long pull outs there please tell me that thank god it's not a wardrobe that would laugh and then more tall people storage not super deep at all down below passenger or driver side does have a little step up and then also a side table some pull out drawers oh, look at me I'm told now and some more storage there now last but not least <gasps> it's skinny oh my god gonna die okay bathroom so obviously no vanity in here classic toilet pretty good amount of space in front of the toilet though what is that a Two by three, maybe a little bit bigger pan. Fiberglass shower, skylight. Got one of those style curtains. And then we're back out into the vanity area. All right. So normally, I'd stand up here and show you the guys the slides, but that's gonna be a little weird. So we're gonna Go hang out back here. I gotta find these things. Slide controls, and we're gonna watch this. Slide control, there they are. My gosh, they're on the wall in the bedroom. So let's actually put both these in. Let you watch them with me. See my arm, it's so contorted. <laughs> Baby, we're getting skinny. There we go. All right, so there's your slides. You can literally still get under the closet slide if you need to get to that drawer for anything specific. You can actually still access the closet too, which is nice. If you're small enough, you got, you know, a four foot sleeping area right there or right there, almost like a bunk setup. Look at that. <laughs> and then, yeah, like I said, little walkway still in between, but it is pretty tight. But that's your slide. Slides are in. Let's go jump outside. I'm pretty sure I got your awning in and all the compartments. Let's give it a good peek. So this side will look a little bit different. That rear closet slide is in. I'll show you the rear too. If you guys enjoy these RV walkthroughs, consider subscribing. I upload these 
pretty dang consistently every time we get a new RV in, especially if it's pretty unique. I love showing them. I really appreciate you guys viewing this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll put all my contact info on the screen and in the description box if you're interested in buying this unit or if you want me to keep an eye out for a specific unit for you. Hey, thank you so much for viewing, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a great day.